The log candidates are doing their best to woo voters at polling stations in northern Sydney as a tight by-election threatens Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull's one-seat majority in the lower house. Both Mr Turnbull and Labor leader Bill Shorten joined their candidates when polls opened on Saturday after a campaign filled with stunts and dirty tricks. Polls indicate the major parties are neck and neck, and Mr Turnbull acknowledged it was a very very close contest when he and Liberal candidate John Alexander met with voters at Gladesville Public School. Australia's security and prosperity depends on John Alexander being back part of our government, delivering more than 1,000 jobs a day, he said. Labor candidate Kristen Akili was joined by Mr Shorten at Wright East Public School. The election was an opportunity to send the Turnbull government a message, he said. We know this government is out of touch. And here in Belog the people have a chance to say, pull your socks up, mate. Ms Keeler said there had never been a more important vote in the electorate. Indeed the people of Australia are looking around at Belog, looking at this seat and wishing they were having their chance to have a say on this government, she said. While the ALP has sought to redefine the poll as a referendum on Mr Turnbull's leadership, the Liberals have continually reminded voters of Ms Keeler's time as New South Wales Premier when she led Labor to the biggest election defeat in the state's history. A loss in Belog on Saturday would leave the government with 75 seats, meaning Mr Turnbull would no longer have a majority in the House of Representatives. A Galaxy poll published in the Daily Telegraph has forecast a close result, with Mr Alexander holding a narrow 51 to 49 to party lead over his Labor rival. Copyright AAP 2017